We just heard from the summit fire chief a few minutes ago who's providing new insight about that chemical spill early this morning. He says a, tr a semi truck at around 8 o'clock this morning was carrying hydrogen peroxide and other chemicals when it was cut off by another car. That's when the fire chief says the driver of the semi truck had to slam on the brake, ultimately causing these drums of hydrogen peroxide to spill onto the interstate, causing that nearly nine hour traffic nightmare on parts of the Stevenson this morning. Now we do want to show you some video from Chopper 7 HD showing the cleanup after that mess. You can see firefighters in hazmat suits right here cleaning up the chemicals. Now much of I-55 was closed for over nine hours starting at eight o'clock. Now fortunately, no injuries were reported. I did ask the fire chief how the department actually went about getting the potentially dangerous chemicals off the roadway. Sand. Sand was a basic thing, so we lay down a layer of sand and sand inside the truck, and then uh, a cleanup company will come back after and clean up the process. Now we. We also spoke with a chemist from the University of Chicago who was able to provide some insight on the potential dangers of large quantities of hydrogen peroxide. It also can be explosive too. So if you have the wrong thing come in contact with it, it can explosively decompose and release steam and oxygen, for instance. Uh, it can also react with other chemical compounds. So if you get gasoline or something like that near it, you can also get a uh, potentially explosive mixture. So no, this is a live look right now from Chopper 7. As you can see, traffic is moving once again on I-55. Of course, it's been such a long day for drivers having to find alternate routes around that mess earlier. Back here live, the fire chief of Summit says there's no public health risk because of this spill. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.